righty, friends, welcome back to the show. You know, this channel is all about the little tips and tricks to make your day in life go smoother. So here we are with a uh, another cool tool that we use around the shop, probably about every other day. It seems like we got a uh, about a hundred batteries around here. That's always a chore cheap at keeping all that stuff charged up. It's an even tougher job keeping all the tires aired up around here. Must be about 400 tires. But uh, today we're going to take a good hard look at this Ryobi One Plus inflating machine. It also deflates, but I ain't never really had trouble deflating anything. It's keeping the stuff inflated that I've always had the trouble with. But this is the model uh, P731. It will go to a max 150 pounds of pressure. Really, the machine is kind of like broke down into two sides. It has a, uh, like an air hose thing on one side of it. And then another hose that you can inflate your pool toys and stuff on that side. It's great for inflating all your tires, your beds, all your pool floats or whatever you need to put a little air in. It does have a little rocker switch there on the top of it there. It either turns on that side of the machine or that side of the machine, depending on where you want the air to flow in or out of, and then a little off button there in the middle. To inflate the tire, you just hook the hose up onto the tire, push the middle button, and then it will tell you what that tire pressure is in the tire. In fact, I think we've thrown away all our tire gauges around here because we don't ever even, we just hook the machine up. Uh, I've, nine times out of ten, if I'm going to put a tire gauge on something, it probably needs a little air in it anyway. So we just go ahead and use this machine to begin with. There you can see we've uh, hooked the machine up to the tire. We'll slap a battery in. Push the middle button, and then it tell us how much air is in the tire. It's got zero pounds. Push it to whatever the desired pressure is. Put about 10 pounds of air in the tire, and turn the machine on. It a uh, actually go to about one pound over what you set it for. It figures it's going to lose about a pound when you pull the thing off. So there you are. You see it went up to 11 pounds. No matter what kind of battery platform you got there, whether it's uh, this kind or the other, we have a couple of these inflators. We keep this one around the shop all the time. And we have another one in the truck. But do yourself a favor. Throw away your tire gauge and get you an inflator instead. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the show. Hit the bell notification. You'll be notified every time a video comes out. And if you want to uh, get in on some of our good giveaways, be sure to like and share the channel. Thanks for helping us grow. Y'all have a good day.